Hey guys, it's May May and my trusty sidekick for today. Hi guys, it's Shannon. It's Shannon. Vinny is not here. We told y'all he wouldn't be here today. He is at the follow-up appointment with his dad. And so hopefully he'll be back early this afternoon to give us a good update. Um, but today we're going to do something that I love. Actually, I'm not doing anything today. I'm just going to sit here for a minute. Aww. Shannon is going to be bringing you some punch art. She's been, we saw this project on Pinterest and I've seen it done a lot of different ways. I've seen it done with like pebbles and circles and clothes pins. I've just seen this little thing done a lot of different ways. And when we saw this, I was like, Shannon, we saw it done in fabric and I'm like, we can totally do this in punches. So Shannon has been playing all morning and has created this for you guys. So I want you to see what she's done. It is so cute. Um, but you're going to have to just watch it develop. That's how we're going to do it. Thanks. You know, it's punch art. I said it in the title. I said it in the yes. thumbnail yes, and, um, we we're focusing today on that it's jesus's birthday that's what we're going to be celebrating on sunday and um so shannon's going to uh, make you the cutest little thing you're going to love it oh there's an echo why would there be an echo if you have okay we don't have an echo here but if you do it maybe you have us open in two windows that happens sometimes if you were in earlier and then came back in sometimes it'll be open in two windows um so that's what we're going to do. Before we get started, there's a couple of little housekeeping things I want to remind you of. Number one, the 12 days of giveaways. It's not days. The 12 gifts of Christmas. <laughs> the 12 <laughs> gifts of Christmas. The entries end tonight, okay? If you're interested in um, getting in on that giveaway, all you have to do is go to the raffle copter link that will be listed in the description and also in the chat in a few minutes. Remember y'all, Grace to Tamitha, she's not feeling good. She's still here. I don't know why. She needs to be She needs to be in her covers with them up to her nose, right? And sniffling and all that stuff, but she's still here. So um, she will definitely get that link for you in a second. But all you have to do to enter is answer one question. And you only need to answer it one time. You don't have to do it multiple times. Another thing I want to say to you guys, yesterday we had a lot of streaming problems. Today I've spent, here's, okay, Shannon's been designing. I've spent my morning with the streaming team trying to figure out what's going on. They think they fixed it. I'm not sure they did. If they didn't fix it, we're going to do what we did yesterday. We'll cut away and come back and just use, not use the streaming service. And they have assured me that after Christmas we can have a meeting and figure out what's going on. I don't know. We're going to figure it out. Um, Okay, so that's the giveaway. Be sure to get in that. It ends tonight. Tomorrow we will announce 12 winners. Tomorrow's show, a little bit of housekeeping. Tomorrow's show is our last show of December. It's our last Orange You Glad It's Christmas show. We've had a great time doing these shows. We want to do more like this. Um, maybe not one every day for 22 days, but we're... <laughs> we'll, we're <laughs> We will uh, be bringing you shows like this uh, coming in 2023. We we have a lot of stuff we're planning for 2023. I'm excited about it. A lot of uh, a lot of stuff we're going to try to play with and mix up and lean into stuff like that. But tomorrow's show, we will be going live from our home. Vinny will be there. I mean, unless unless anything changes for him, he is at he is at the mercy right now of doctor's appointments with his dad. So if that changes, but if he's if it does change for him, you'll get me. I know, sad substitute, but you'll get me, and I will do what Vinny would be doing. But I'll our plan, it's, it, that's right. Um, and our plan is to bring you something you've been waiting years for. That is our plan. We're hoping that it works out. Um, I think that it will. I think we'll be okay. And worst case scenario, we'll be at my house. I'll give you a little tour of the living room, show you some of our Christmas decorations. We will announce our winners. Um, we'll just chat a little bit for a little while, and we'll just have a good time no matter what happens. The other housekeeping, it seems, oh, I want to tell you all this again. You guys really love this. You guys love this sale, so I want to mention it one more time. And I'm going to let Shannon go ahead and let you see this picture I have, and then she'll come over here and start crafting. And I'm going to go over there and start chatting. I do have to go get my drink because I didn't bring it back here. Um, but I can do that while Shannon comes over here. <laughs> We're getting real lax on these live shows, y'all. Real lax. Here we go. Let's talk about this real quick. The gift card um, the gift card sale. We do this every year. This is something Vince likes to do, okay? And this is the one where you buy one $50 gift card. You can get a $15 gift card um, for free. Every 50 that you buy or you buy 100 and you get a 25 Okay, so what you do is if you want to buy a $50 gift card, you put a $50 gift card in your cart and then you also add a $15 gift card and that's how you get the freebie. It'll do it at checkout for you. <coughs> She's already started. So put the $50 in your cart, put the 15 in your cart and when you check out the 15 will be um, taken off and the same for this one. If you have questions, email us, call us, whatever. They'll help you with that, okay? 
<clears throat> um, was that all our housekeeping? Maybe. I think that's all our housekeeping. So what I'm going to do is run get my drink so that I don't start coughing while uh, Shannon's working. And we're going to bring Shannon over and she's going to get started teaching you guys this cool punch art project. So yes. come on over. Good luck. Finding your drink. Hi guys. How are ya? Let me get some stuff um, to show you how I started. The only thing that we're using that's not a punch is um, the largest circle die um, from this Dress My Craft set. And you will need to make this um, a card base, and I used blue. And to line it up, to make, we're gonna make it like this, where it opens. How I did it is, hi, how are y'all today? I know it's cold. It's cold here. I found the easiest way is to go on and put two pieces of yellow tape on either side of my die. And then when you go to line it up, it helps it just stick for you because you're going to want to make sure your open side, your die is all the way on the open side, but you're going to have it where it overlaps on the folded side. So you can go on and get it lined up and once you get it there, just kind of tap it down <coughs> on one side and tape it. And then when you run it through your die cutting machine, it will keep your fold up here and not cut it. So that is how I got this little guy. Now we're going to start with all of our punches. And I have used a ton of different size circle punches. Um, <clears throat> I want to say real quick that Angela said she really needs punches in her craft stash. Here's the thing. Yes. This is why I am a punch person. I love them. I don't mind dies, but dies can get expensive, right? But punches, I don't have to have a machine for or anything, and I love them. And what Shannon has done is so good. You're going to love it. Okay. We used, let's see, the two-inch circle. And all of these, yes, all of these are two-inch circles. So you're going to need three two-inch circles. So, you know, I told you to work there. Work, work there. Here. And then pull your little dillies. There we go. So you're going to need three two-inch circles. I went on and punched a lot of these. I might have missed some because there are a lot of circles, y'all. Then you're going to need a one and a half inch circle. And I think you only need one of these, which is the red one. And that goes with that one. And then I'll go on and show y'all how I cut these because that's a little fun. Need my trimmer. Oh, while you're doing that, Pam Galloway says, this may be a bit tardy to the party, but thank you for the butterscotch M&M's peanut candy. That delicious concoction filled many treat bags and was always raved about. Thanks, ladies. It That's was cool. Delicious. All right, for these little guys, let me find my pencil. I used my cutting mat, and all I did was find. Oop! You guys scoot up, baby. Oh, sorry. You way down now. I can't see. All I did was find my center and mark it and then marked half inch over and a half inch over. And you're gonna do this on all of them the same way. And all you're gonna do in this line up your marks and cut it off. Nikki's question is, do these all need to be the same color? I'm not sure. Um, you can actually use kind of colors you want. Um, they don't have to all be the same color. Mine are not all the same color. Um, I don't want to say what what is what because then it'll kind of give it away. They know you're doing the Holy Family. I did. I said that I in the in the that. thingy. Well, this is Mary's dress on the outside, and you'll see in a second. So you're doing the same measurement yes. marks? Yes, on all of them. Um, even the different size. Um, is going to be the same thing, except on the smaller one, you're going to use the triangle piece instead of the two little wings. 
So it's going to be the same way. You're going to line it up and mark its middle. And then I just went in half inch and in half inch. <clears throat> just to kind of give it a little body. This will be her dress. I got to say this while you're doing that. Um, the question is, y'all got next year's wreath off schedule? Jen said that. I got to tell y'all something. Everybody in town <laughs> is like, do you know what, who all we can raise money for next year? Listen, this was new to me this year. It was a new thought. So y'all got to be watching because everybody's had ideas and it looks like this may turn into something annual. I don't know. We'll see. Just keep watching. And I'm just going to cheat since I already cut this one. I... I'm just going to get scissors. See, that's what I would have done. And cut these. You've been around me long enough to know. Template. Do well, it once. There's no reason to make it hard every yeah. time. So, you're going to wind up with... I can't talk and cut. <laughs> You're going to wind up with, cut, You're going to cut. wind up with, I'll show you, all these funny little pieces. And you don't need the two red wings. So you can set those to the side. You don't need those ladybug you wings. You don't need those ladybug wings because she kind of winds up looking like ladybug. I think they're so cute. Just wait, just wait. This is going to be Mary's dress. I love that you put her in red. And then this is going to be her little, like, wrap around. And see, then you just kind of glue that over. It'll stay once you glue it. And then, so I'm going to say this because I bet somebody's going to ask, why didn't you just leave a circle underneath and then put the wings on? The reason is you don't want her to be really a circle. Yeah, and it kind of like if you have all of these circle people, your circle is a circle, and it just starts getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and mm -hmm. it crowds it all up. So then for Joseph, his is just the opposite. I did him brown with the tan on top and I did do Joseph a larger circle in the the dark brown circle hers is a one and a half his is a two just to try and make him a little bit taller than her um, on my prototype I wound up cutting her blue a little more just to try and make her a little shorter but his will be the same way so you don't need the other two wings so um, glue. Jen said Cherry's face was priceless when the prices kept, when the bid kept going up. <laughs> I have to be honest, none of us expected that. None of us did. And it has been such a blessing for everybody involved. Like the um, the bidders, the, they keep calling themselves winners. And I'm like, I feel like we and DHR are the winners, but yeah. they think they are the winners. They have written us emails and told us how excited. I, I, we were just blown away. It was so amazing. I mean, literally, the folks watching were crying. We were crying in the room. Yeah. It was, like, it was shocking. We were so shocked. And then all I did was um, do a little glue down the side and stick it down one side and then the same on the other. And then they'll overlap a little. And then when you put their heads on, the heads overlap as well. So it'll wind up sticking. Just kind of. Make a rough little body shape. Um, one of the suggestions for next year, and see if y'all like this idea, is we would like to do multiple charities, especially since we found out there's caps sometimes in some places, right? We'll do multiple charities. And we'd like to have a representative from the charity here because I think they would enjoy watching that happen. Yeah, so was that was a suggestion today um, from phone calls. <laughs> These are super cute. They did wind up being really cute. I can't wait for you to see the whole thing. So yeah, cute. And it's fun. And you just kind of make it, I don't know, make it up as you go. I love punch art. It's my favorite. I love to take any shape and turn it into something else. A rectangle into a box. You know, every, people ask me, how many times I get in an interview, Shannon? If I get interviewed, what's the question? What's your favorite craft? What's your favorite craft? And I'm like, anytime I can take a flat piece of paper or a a square or a circle and turn it into something else is my favorite. All right. Now for their little heads. Um, let's see. I need a 
paper. You're welcome for that tip, Kim. It's my favorite tip. Tilting the scissors out when you fuzzy cut. Favorite thing. Yeah, yes. Oh, there's my blue paper. I lost it. Um, it wasn't from today, Brenda. It was from the other day. But when we get done, I'll, I'll show you when Shannon's done. She's got several pieces to do here. Yes. We're going to keep Shannon in, 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 her, in her brain mode. She's already having All a right. moment right now. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, well, I thought I cut their head or their heads. Okay, I did cut their heads. Um, their heads I cut out of cream or what's going to be their faces, heads our cream and it's a three quarter inch for both of them and then behind that I cut a tan one well I didn't for the first one a one inch circle for Joseph and then a blue for Mary I think this is necessary then, because you, I didn't even realize you had yeah. done it with extra circles. I, I, I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> I thought it was part of their little outfit. Like, it just came that way. But now I see what you well, did. Well, it kind of... This is the makeup part. Okay. We got tiny faces. And I used this for their little faces. And it made them so, so cute. cute. So, you can pick out whichever one you want to do for your... Tell them what you asked me. Um, does uh, Joseph need shades? <laughs> I said the stars were bright, but not that bright. I mean, you know, they could be. So, all I did, oh, and I guess I need to go on and pull over baby Jesus while I'm stamping their little faces. I gave Mary pretty eyelashes. Of course. Because. Little baddie eyelashes. eyelashes. So Look how there's cute. Mary. She's not done. Y'all just wait. Not done. She gets so cute. Just hold on. Alright, let's get Joseph. I used which guy? I think this guy. I want to also tell you this. If you don't like faces, there are a lot of people who email me and say that faces on things creep them out. I get it. There's that's a thing. You don't have to put faces on these. When she's done, you wouldn't oh, need a face. No, you can do it totally without Just faces. do them without faces. You'll get a cute little um, um, cute little expression. The first one when I was doing it didn't have faces at first. But I went on and did faces on it. And then for baby Jesus, I did this one. Because his head is little, and I didn't tell y'all. This one is the, um, what is this? A half inch little circle punch. And he just got the little. And this is perfect for baby Jesus. Open. I might have just wiggled it. Oh, no. He's no, good. he's good. He's good. So I did that. I love that tiny face stamp. We have tiny faces. Tiny faces. What's the other cool. one called? Um, it's Tamitha it's, will know. It's tiny faces yeah, and something else. I don't know. Um, then to do hair, because they need hair, I cut a three quarter inch, yeah, three quarter inch yellow circle. And then I did it like this. I don't know how y'all would do this, but this is how I did it. I want it to have the little swoopy. So I glued a little spot and stuck it on here where I wanted it. Watch this, y'all. Then flipped it upside down and cut around. Oh, and it didn't stick. That's okay, because we have it halfway there. Let's try it again. Squeeze it real tight. You know, that art glitter glue likes pressure. It does, and this is textured paper, and I've kind of noticed it takes a little more. A little more, it has stick. to get in friendly faces. Friendly faces and tiny faces, I think is the name of the stamp okay. set. So, cut this little guy like that. And the same thing, we're going to do a little bigger swoop on this side. So it looks like she has a side part. Yes. This is so good. Very smart. I can see this being a card next year. Um, Donna says she can see this in, being her next year's Christmas card. Oh, it would be adorable. You got a whole year to make 50 Punch Art Holy Families. <laughs> Good luck. Just put it on the calendar. I got to make this many this week, this many that week. That'd be cute. All right. I think this is so cute. Can you put that in your palm and hold it up to the camera so they can see your side part? Yeah, Look Mary. how cute. Ignore the ink because, you know, inky fingers. I don't but see any ink. I think it looks good. Good, good, good. Then she'll go on there, 
And while we're doing it, we'll go on and do little Joseph. Also very smart. Did you forget it? Is it over um, here? I had some brown paper. Actually, I can use, I think, this brown paper. Yeah. All right. Set. So for Mr. Joseph, we're going to use our wing scraps off of this piece. And do the same thing, except I did his there. I'm going to do his on the other side. So basically, any, any little curve paper you have, it doesn't have to be the three-quarter inch circle, just a curve. I don't know if you're getting to read Miss Jones' um, no. comments today, but she is on point. She always is. <laughs> She's awesome with her, with her, her quips. snappy little her quips. Like well, the good news is you out. definitely know how to make a ladybug now. I do. <laughs> it would be an adorable ladybug. Y'all, uh, Donna said great scrap user. I got to tell y'all something. Every single project we have made this month, which we're going to do a little carousel of the projects in a few minutes, or when Shannon gets done, we have utilized scraps for every single project. Not, not one I don't believe, except card bases, and even then we use pre-made card bases, have we cut down full sheets of paper. Yeah. My fingers stuck to the front. But we are a little different in the way we craft. We go to the bin first. Yes. Every piece of this, except for the base. Um, the first base did come from um, a scrap. Bin, mm -hmm. But the this one, I did have to cut. So you have Mary and you have Joseph, but Joseph isn't done because I imagine Joseph being a little scruffy. So he didn't have time to shave on the trip. Let me put my pan in so this will be usable in a minute. And we are going to ink Mr. Joseph's face. Bring your oh. um, tools a little nestly closer to you. Just squeeze in a little bit. I'm clean some of this mess up. Put them up there out of the way. There you go. There you go. All right, so I don't make a huge mess. Oh, she's really doing the work. That's cute. I'm going to scruff him up. So cute. Look at his little scruffy beard. And oh, my goodness, that's cute. And I thought baby Jesus needed a little something because he's a little pale. So I just did a little on the top of his head, just to give him a little color. So now that you got your little head. That looks like a little beard. I know, isn't so it cute? cute? Then all I did on these guys was glue. I didn't center them. I felt like it'd be a little more, you know, wrapped around their head. So I put them more towards the bottom. Yeah, that's the right move. Both of them. I'm mesmerized too. I'm doing what Vince says, just <gasps> staring. And then all you have to do is glue the top. I think um, Shannon just used vintage photo that time. I did. You have to, you know, we we go between on our desk vintage photo and walnut stain. And walnut stain's a little heavy. It would have given him a really dark beard. He's so cute. So there's your Joseph. And here's your little Mary. And you can also, to time to make her a little shorter, move her head down a little more too. And on my first one, I wanted her a little shorter. So I just went in and scooped off the bottom of the blue some. And then when you glue it onto the base, it makes her a little bit shorter. And then we'll get to baby Jesus in a second. They're so cute. All right. Four our manger. Well, we'll go back to this piece we scrapped. 
We will punch baby Jesus's body. I used a one inch circle and did white for his body and a three quarter for his headpiece. Amy said she um, watched when we did the shrink it for the snow globes last year. Yes. I gotta be honest, I think this would be a really cute snow globe it shaker would be card. Adorable. I think if you, even if you just turned what you're doing into a shaker card and at the bottom where his little manger is, put like the glitter or something like that to shake, oh, I think it'd be so cute. All right. Barb had to stop making cookies to watch us. I don't know if that was worth it. Uh, what kind of cookies? I like cookies. I like cookies too. <laughs> I want I mean, cookies. All right. So, I forgot, I need to stick this up. I nestled his body under the top of his head. Oh, cute. So he looks swaddled. Yeah. Can you hold him up? I will, let me get him all stuck. Him so cute. Him so cute. All right, then to oh, finish him off, because he was really white, I just went and inked across the top because I figured they wouldn't have anything super white. I mean, I know it's baby Jesus and white's purity and all that, but. He would be dark his, from the travels. His yeah, blanket would be dirty from the travels. He would be dirty. Stars in the shaker so, would be perfect. There's your baby Jesus. And now we're gonna make his manger. Now this, I'll say this, there's a couple things she's doing live that she didn't do in her original. Oh, and I didn't bring um, stamps it. And so this, we're gonna get to see this for the first time too. <laughs> Oh no, April paper. can't have any Christmas sweets for 10 I days. Do you hear that? April had dental work done. She can't have any sweets for 10 days. Oh, that's going to be a hard 10 days. Make up for lost time when your 10 days are up. That's sad. Well, my sister's having gallbladder issues, so she can't have any stuff. Yeah, and they can't see her till after Christmas, yeah, can they? Yeah, after Christmas. Okay. Um, for my manger, I did a two inch circle, I think. What did I do? Let me see what size I did real quick. That's true. Tenth says he was laying in the hay. We all know that was not clean. Exactly. Yeah, two inch. Okay. Oh, this circle. says Shannon is showing off for camera. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Then you're going to need your trimmer again. And I cut it in half. Then you're going to want to cut the bottom off. So I'm going to do it about at three quarters. Shannon, would you have time this afternoon to put to do measurements for this? I think so. They would appreciate it. She squeezed them out yesterday for Tamitha. Maybe she can do yeah. that today too. So you wind up getting this little guy. Look how perfect. Come on, y'all. Then for its little legs, I cut just two. Can you get it from the what you just cut off? Two little brown strips. Oh, okay. Um, you could get. You them. can get it from your um, cut. Yeah. I mean, I would just go to this guy, and not quite through, not quite a quarter. And it's hard to get it straight. But one strip off of that should be plenty. And then just cut that in half. Yeah, and you can just take those curved ends and put them up underneath. You can. Or let or them be them the feet. Let it's them be really the feet, nice. yeah. And all I did for the legs was cross them over. Let's see, let's put both curved. Cross them over and glue them in an X. Just kind of make them a little even. But before we put it all together, we are going to put a little design on it. This is what we haven't seen yet. We came up with this because we were we were like, it needs a little something, right? And I think this is cute. So this is the um, like just hatchy 
thing patchy, off the hay, stripy. Patina. The off stamp the set patina. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to do this guy straight down on here. Welcome in, Mary. She made a live finally. I'm glad you got here today because tomorrow's the last one. Look at that. And it winds up giving you. Yeah, that's cute. Little, I think that was the right choice. A little straw looking manger. Let me find. Do we have a towel? It's probably over there. We need it. Um, it ends up on this table a lot. <laughs> so we have our. We have our little crisscrossy legs. This one is um, glued shut. Oh, well, We did something fun. with it, didn't we? Meh. It had a rough day. <laughs> so we have our little crisscrossy legs. Look at that. In our manger. Come on. So I just put a little glue and then hovered it over until I liked where it sat. So cute. Then for our baby Jesus. Look at him. I'm just putting a little glue on the bottom of his circle. I just can't. He's so cute. And lay him <gasps> in his manger. So precious. Really, I I just think even just the baby Jesus. If you did not do anything oh, else. Look at him. They cuddle together. <laughs> there's your baby Jesus. <laughs> They're so cute. So there's your Mary and Joseph and baby Jesus. Now we're gonna, let's see. So there's our bottom. Let's clean all this stuff out of the way. I want to, what did I do with it? I want to make a ground for this guy. So I'm this is something new too. Yes. I was like, can we ground them a little bit? So she's gonna do this for me. It may not work. I think, hold on. Shannon, I think you should cut it like in a curve or something. Like give it a little shape. Yeah, I wanna at the top. I wanna I wanna see how much room I need at the top. Okay. Okay, for the top of this before I do the ground, just so I know how big to cut, I want to use this um scallop punch and do a decorative piece across the top. Another punch? Surprise. Another punch. Um and this strip is I think three quarters. Yeah, three quarters. Um, and I don't know, the width is going to be all determined. On your circle. Yeah, where you place it on your circle. So let me punch this real quick. And I'm not going all the way to the end because it doesn't take up the whole space. That's going to go across the top. Let's see how much ground we need. They're so cute. And then we're going to do that. So. I'm just going to cut a sh Tammy said, do you remember everything on all your stamps? If not, do you keep some sort of... Uh, system or a file listing. I do not keep a file listing. We keep our stamps. We have a bookshelf. We have three bookshelves here and we have them in little crates and we have them broken down by rough uh, seasons or types or things. It's rough. It's not perfect. Okay. And then when we need something like this is what we did. I'm like, this would be cute if we could use faces. You know what I'm saying? So she went over, she pulled out the face stamps and she tried them out. Then I said, that little manger would be cute if it had some texture. So we looked at a lot of stuff. We looked at the Easter basket from Basket Builder, but it was too big. And also we looked at Willie Full Wagon and Shannon's like, they wouldn't have had Buffalo check back then. Yeah, I mean, you know. <laughs> then uh, we looked at um, Mr. Big Ears because there was a basket on there. We thought that would work. And then we went, wait a minute. We have textures. We have patina and we have, um, what's the other one? Uh, relic. Relic. So we looked at patina and that was perfect. So we literally just flipped through until we found what we're looking for. Now I say that, but also um, I have a subscriber that um, went on a cruise with me, Dee Dean. She stamps, every stamp set she gets, she stamps the whole stamp set on a piece of um, paper and she has a little binder 
and she has them alphabetized in her binder and so she can just flip through the binder and then go to her files that go to her stamps i'm just not that organized now that's something shannon would love to have the time to do to be able to have everything like so organized where she could do that but i have not done it maybe that's a 2023 project i don't know that's a lot of stamps for us to stamp we have a lot of stamps so all i did there was glue that down to the bottom and now i'm just going to cut around it if you now like i said this is an afterthought for us this is something i asked her to do for me if you know you're going to do this you can do this at the same time you're cutting your dies you can, you can just have it ready and just lay it in there when you're cutting or if you're like us and you decide to do stuff after the fact boom apple fritter pop tarts is that a thing did we know about those uh I, I don't think so, but I, I feel like I need to know about those. Thanks, Danielle. What a sweet, sweet comment. She says that our crew is a blessing. Oh, I think. I think so, too. I think right, so, too. So now too. we have a ground. Then we're going to put that on the top. Do you put your piece under between that? What piece? Your top piece. I did. I don't want you to forget. I have forget. not forgotten. Okay. All right, so those guys will fit there. Then we need to do our little topper because this is going to be looking like an ornament or I want it to look like an ornament. So I have a little bitty piece of glitter that I probably need to straighten up. Actually, I'm going to just cut this end off because it's straight and we don't need all of it. So I... I'm going to cut this off, which is three quarters by about an inch. And then you throw it on the floor, because why not? And we're going to quarter around it, corner around it on the small side, a quarter inch. And then it will be like the topper of your ornament. I know we talked about all those pop tart flavors, but I don't remember. I don't remember apple. That one. What was that? You said apple fritter. I like apple fritter. I do too. I don't remember apple fritter. Apple's like one of my favorite. Oh, somebody said, "What about texture on the ground?" You could do that. You could. We didn't play with that part. We we no. probably could have done that. Um, this piece was actually um, the piece I was looking for if you were here in the very beginning that I was trying to find because I didn't have it. So we have our pretty little piece here and this piece here. So I am going to, this is how I did it on my first one, open this up so I can see how far up I want to glue it. I just went on and glued this little guy down so I could center it on my fold from side to side. Yay, Mominator. She made her um, first Christmas cards this year. Aw, congratulations. Um, I still haven't done that. Amy says she bought a big box from Brutus and doesn't know what to do with all the stuff. Well, I'll tell you what you do. You just email Brutus and tell him, do some projects. <laughs> that's what. Show me some. That's what to we make. would do. That's what we would have to do. Show me some to make. <laughs> then for this guy, I think he is doing a lot more YouTubes now, isn't he? I think I've seen him and his his crew has been doing a lot of YouTubes, which I'm glad of because Chris Christopher doesn't typically do a lot of YouTube. He's typically more. Well, I don't know. He's not even really Facebook. I think he's just more his website. He's just Christopher. Shannon, that's, that's, that's significant glue. It is. I had issues with this um, <laughs> glitter paper sticking down. It did not want to stay. That's significant. That ain't going nowhere. No, I don't want it to go anywhere. It ain't. Because it kept falling off of my first one. Because this is like more raised texture glitter paper than um, the other one that we use most of the time. And I could not get it to stick. So he has been doing a lot of Facebook lives. I know, I've noticed he's been a lot more, I keep getting notifications that he's live. And in, so in different places, just my phone just says it. I don't know if it's Facebook or YouTube. 
<laughs> but I've enjoyed it because I like, well, I just, I think it's fun to watch Christopher because he's kind of all over the place. If you ever met him in person, he's not all over the place in his design. He doesn't sit still. He's like, he's that way in real life too. Never, never calms down. Never sits still. Not calms down. That's the wrong word. He's, he's got a lot of energy. He's on the move. And he's that way in the videos and it cracks me up. <coughs> then I just cut around this guy. Like he, I did the bottom. Timothy says he has been going live almost daily. Awesome. He's my buddy. I love me some Christopher. He knows it too. And here's that. Um... Amy said that'd be a cute beat scene. It is. It does look it like a cute be. beat scene. You could change that up. Um, then to give it a little extra between the same blue that I used as the background, I cut, um, I think a one inch, yes, a one inch scallop out of, and then cut this guy in half, and I just glued it across the top just to break up the white some. I said that wrong. Was it Amy? It was Tina saying it. I want to make sure I give the right person credit. When is there going to be a stamping event in Pigeon Forge again? I don't know. Our, we just, we're working with, I, I don't mind telling y'all, we have a um, new travel agent we're working with because we are wanting to do some events in 2023 now that we can travel again. And we're learning that event centers, prices have skyrocketed. I mean, when wow. she told, when we, we met with her, what was it, like two weeks ago? Yeah. And she's been working with some of these um, event centers. And I was like, what? She's like, honestly, it prices have skyrocketed and so i don't know because you got to be able to afford it you know i mean honestly it was it was rough and with event centers our issue is they don't let us bring in food we have to use their food which always makes it more expensive so we usually try to um like what's the word allow for that yes. allow make a, make adjustments for it i don't know just know we're trying we're working on it we're working with um bonnie and bonnie's company is Oh, what is the name of her company? Bonnie with. I cannot think of her company. Now i got to look it up. because Well, I can't. you got my phone. Let me look. Let me see if I can do it here. Because um, I want to let y'all know. But we're working with her, and she's a sweetheart, and she's working very hard, and she's trying to fit all of our requirements. Um, oh, my goodness. Now I don't remember it. Um, hang on. I think I may have found her. Nope. I'm not joining LinkedIn. Thank you, though. All right. I'll have to find it for you guys. I'd love it if you guys would consider her if you need a travel agent. She's very, very good. She, she really is going above and beyond. And she's patient, which is huge because we're so undecided. <laughs> and we're so busy. Like, it's hard to catch us. Let's see. Okay. I found her. I want to find her company name. I'm disappointed in myself for not remembering this. I am disappointed. It's not on her thingy, Bobby. Isn't that what y'all call Facebook pro Bobby. profiles? Everybody calls things thingy floppy. Isn't that what y'all call your Facebook profiles? That's what I call it, a thingy floppy. Let's see. All right. Glue all those little guys down. And lose my pen. Then it needs a hole punch in the top. Okay, I think I'm on to something. Are you? I really do. I'm, this would be so much faster if Shannon was doing it. I'm going to use the big hole punch. Because if I do it on a, this guy. If I do it on a package, because this is a tag, you can use this as a gift tag. You might use ribbon and it'll be easier to put ribbon through a big hole. Then it's not done. We can do snowflakes on it or Bonnie, stars on it. 
it's Bonnie for travel independent travel advisor for classic travel Bonnie for travel and I put her link in for you guys I, that took me forever to find so I apologize uh oh, design change could be happening. That's cute, Shannon. Let's do stars. Oh, you're. Oh. We can do the golden stars. This will be fun. Let's do some stars. Just a few. You gonna want a pickup tool? Like pickup sticks. <laughs> I would definitely use the quick stick, and both ends. Lucky, lucky. <laughs> oh. Tim said, Shannon, go back and clean that good glue tip. It will drive me crazy. <laughs> How about I just put more on there? That drives you crazy? My fingers having all this glue on it? Drives you crazy. And now you're going to play with tiny, 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 tiny yeah, stars. Why not? <laughs> Shannon's going to have <laughs> glitter fingers. <laughs> That's funny. You know, that little bit of the glue on the tip drives me insane, too. Like, the one that's at the top, is there something out between the glue and the pen? Yes. You know what mine will do, which is funny? Y'all y'all just need to see. Y'all will be surprised. Y'all probably think we have, like, perfectly clean supplies. Shh. No. Mine, my pen will build up glue, and then my bottle will build up glue, and eventually they're not really touching each other. You know what I'm saying? They're very far away from each other. <laughs> y'all are so cute. We were going to tell you that. So, um... This, I think this project she's doing could be an ornament. It can be a card. It can be a shaker card. It can be a tag. Wouldn't it be a cute gift tag? Most definitely. I think it can be lots of things. It can be anything your little heart desires. Y'all be sure to check out Christopher. You you will like him because of his um, energy. That's that's what gets me. It's his energy. I love how he's just nine hundred all the time. <laughs> I don't yeah, know how he does it. Like like my like my kid. I don't know how he. I, I honestly I don't know how he does that much energy all the time. Even when we're together, that I think, and that's why somebody mentioned because um, he was in he was in a uh, pigeon forge with us, and uh, his energy. He kept us up all night. Not really. We, we crashed pretty good. <laughs> it could be all those at the same time. Huh? Oh, all of the glue uh. situation. Look at her be all sassy and shake that bottle at me. Did you shake that bottle at Tamitha? No, I don't think I did. Oh, just say you did. I did, yeah, Tam. <laughs> yes, she did, Tamitha. What you gonna do about it? She'll stick <laughs> self. Oh, <laughs> God. Don't get her sassy. Ah, now I'm gonna tell y'all about sassy Shannon. Don't get her sassy. Sassy? <laughs> what was it the other day we were sassy about? Oh no, we got sassed. Oh. We went just innocently shopping at Rustic Relics. Remember that? Yes. Innocently, and we got sassed. I was like, I wow. Ain't by who, Missy? Somebody was in a mood. I, somebody I there. Two stars stuck together. <laughs> Somebody there, I was going to say, somebody there we're not going to say names of. Missy. Their initials start with Missy. Um, <laughs> uh, Meme, do you leave your, I just use my pen. Do you leave it in the glue all the time? Do you ever put the lid back on it? No, I just put the pen in it. I have the fine metal tip and we just put a pen. We do that in all of them, unless it's our one ounce glue. Is it one ounce or two ounce? One ounce. The one ounce glue, that we just put the cap back on. And I'm just going to do a cluster of stars on this side. And then a little few on the other side. Perfect a for a Sunday stars. school teacher gift. Perfect for that. Y'all remember too, you can, you know it would have really, not, diff, not that it would have been prettier than this, but do you remember the product you used to do the dots around the one you did? Yeah. That product would be pretty in the background here because it keeps the gold. Is that the... Um, Vintage, uh, the gold vintage drops? Yeah. It's beautiful. Well, got the, oh, is that what? Okay. Yeah, the Nouveau Dream Drops. But I think I used the gold in that one. Tamitha said, be careful because she's hopped up on her on her flu meds. So. I understand, girl. <laughs> I understand. You know, um, Debbie asked about my glue tip. I just always hope I actually remember to put it back on when I leave this room because I have, I have literally left the room for the weekend and come back and my pen's my pen is not in my glue so there's that <laughs> that happens to me a lot i can't get over the little 
tiny baby Jesus. He's so cute. Stars. Oh, that's so sweet. Amy sent her niece a wedding memory book she made for her and she got it today Aww. and she loved it. That There's nothing like whenever you hear back from people getting the stuff you've made. It's such a good feeling. It is. Such a good feeling. Are y'all tired of stars now? I'm not tired of stars. You're brave. See, see, Shannon is like meticulous. Me, I'm like throw some dots on there, throw some, like spread them out. Well, I probably should have just spread them out, but then I figured they're so tiny, it'd be easier to just do a few in a, in a, in a spot or two. Probably, <laughs> or two, because that's all that's going to get. Tim says she sees a big old winter nap in her future. I do, too. Are you going to hibernate? Uh, Donna, Mame, I think we could be related with the stuff you do. <laughs> do you know I hear that a lot? I love that, because... We prop we could be, but I love that because it says that our community is is all we're alike. You know what I'm saying? We're just alike. We like the same stuff, um, and we and we do. I like it. Cute. See, we do one more up here. Try and get How sweet! Train. Amy bought all the ladies in her family Miranda's devotional that we showed the other night. Oh, that is sweet. Yep. You guys, I got to tell y'all and. I don't have it to show you. We're going to show you after the holiday season. We received a surprise gift from a subscriber. We don't know who. We don't. It was all surprise. And we got it so that we could have it at our Christmas party. And there, this person or, per, or persons put together a stocking for each of us. And it was like curated for each of us. You would not believe it what was, we received, and we have, I mean, so they contacted Missy and I think Penny in town, and they worked with them. So, I mean, I do have a way to thank them, so I, so that's why I'm not saying it here. We have thanked them. We actually filmed the whole opening, and we sent it to them with a, or it's going to them. I don't think they have, I don't know if they have it yet. It was uploading, and we've got to get it to them, but there's a, we put a thank you in the beginning of the video, and it was amazing and and i'm just like how special that we would be chosen to receive it the gift it works like this it said make sure i say it right shannon it said each year we pick someone to give a gift from jesus is that what i think so i'm not exactly sure how but it was like every year they pick someone to give a gift to and they chose us and they and then it said but don't worry um they're still doing their other gift from what i understand basically a needy person also got a gift like a, yeah because you know you don't want to be like gosh there's so many people in need and they thought of us but they were like don't worry someone else got a gift as well and they gifted us um every one of us got a personalized cup a, a personalized epoxy cup y'all yes um we all got like glass nail files we all got lotion and and um well, hand cream and, was it both hand creams? Uh, two hand creams. Two hand creams. The we, goat's milk, and they smell amazing. We all got candy. It was, the stocking was a gift. The stocking oh, yes. was a knitted stocking with like, it was incredible. I, I, we were just, I, we were all in shock <laughs> over all of yeah. this. There were gift cards for each person. Um, some people, they gave cash. It was the most incredible experience. Um, yeah. And we were so humbled, but so it was generous. so it was so generous. We were so humbled, but it was so cool to have that at our Christmas party. And um, after when we get back from Christmas, I'm gonna see if everybody will bring their cups so I can show y'all because everybody's kind of scattered. Like not everybody's working right now. We're kind of scattered, but I want y'all to see that it was absolutely incredible. So um, you guys are just the you're so thoughtful, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. You know, between cards and presents and things that come in all the time, y'all are so sweet. Please do not feel obligated. We love you just because you're there. Do not feel obligated. But just the, because you support us on here. But it was amazing. How do you keep um, the pen from getting glued into the tip? It just doesn't. I don't know why. It just doesn't. I think it's just the metal versus metal or the stainless steel situation. But mine doesn't glue in. I've never had it get stuck in. Have you ever had a pen get stuck in? Glued no. in? Mm -mm, me either. Um, but that's another thing I do. A lot of times I'll just take my, um, fingers and run down the pen before I put it in, especially if there's a lot of glue on it.
everybody's talking about the bitter cold. Y'all, we're going to get it too. It's, from what I understand, all the way to Florida. I think Florida is going to be in the 20s and the 20s and the 30s, which is so unusual for them. Our high Friday is what, Shannon? 24. With gale like force 30, winds. 30, 40 mile an hour winds. Um, we're all kind of, we're trying to get our groceries done. We're trying to get to the house is what we're trying yeah. to do. I know y'all are too. I'm hoping we don't end up, that is so cute, Shannon. The stars are really good. Um, Boat Aberwar. You Best need this in ever. your life. Best stuff ever. If you can't tell, it like has come down just a wire. little bit. Scoot towards you. There you go. It's actual wire, so it will bend and mold and shape. And we also have it in silver in the little packs. Um, it's the best stuff ever. It really is. Handy, handy. If you're somebody said theirs got stuck, here's what I would do I would take that, I would screw that off my cap. Okay, and then I would put it into uh, either a rubbing alcohol and let it soak for a while, like a couple days, or I would put it in hand sanitizer until the hand, <laughs> hand sanitizer will evaporate, you know. So put it in there and let it soak, and usually you can work it out. <clears throat> and you can um, also, while you're die cutting, you could also go in with a smaller circle and cut a piece of white and layer on the inside so you can write on it. Or you could write on it with a colored Sharpie. Look, every single state is talking about with the weather that's coming. If you if you look at it, you can see it across the board. They're saying it's the coldest weather that, that we've had in 25 years. Like, not, not Alabama. They're saying it's the coldest weather the states have had in 25 years. It's going to be like the coldest Christmas probably I ever remember. I, won't. I, don't, I don't remember us having. You know, our last, like, three Christmases have been, like, 70s. Oh, yeah. And like, we've been all sad about it. Like, my kids were in, were in shorts on Christmas. Shannon, it's gorgeous. Thank it really is gorgeous. It's Thank absolutely perfect. I just love it. Now I want to tell y'all something. When we saw these, what they had done was they made them like the whole nativity set. Adorable, y'all. One of them had an angel. One of them had the holy family. One had three wise men. All could be done from punch one art. One had animals, too. Had and the like, animals. Um, they used scallops <coughs> for sheep. And it was the cutest little things. Mm -hmm. We do carry that wire. We may be out of it because we've talked it up a lot this. Yeah, I think the last time we had silver. I'll tell y'all what we have in just a second. Y'all, we is... do need some likes. There's 422 watching and 186 likes. Come on, Look people. at that ornament. It's a card. Look at that cute thing. Oh, I guess we're blessed in San Antonio. We'll be at 34. That's a blessing. 80s in California. Um, we still have the silver. Um, if you go to our channel, and sorry, y'all, my sister. Um, if you go to um, our website and in the um, search bar type G124, it is the silver. And it's this size. Um, it's 50 foot, which is a lot, y'all. A lot. A whole lot. Um, we do have the silver. I think we have... One of the golds left this size. So, and it's G182, but the silver is G124. Okay, which job do you want to do? Do you want to show the projects or bring the projects? We need to show, I'll we want to, okay, I'm going to come sit and show them. So, okay, this, You've that, been sitting in that chair long that enough? This is this me, yours? that's you. Because I went up front and got mine. Yours was uh, sitting here and I switched it, remember? No. Well, I did. I went up front and got it. It was with my, um, it was with Vince's takeout. I do remember you going up front to get it. Yes, it was with Vince's takeout, so I went and got it. Um, projects. Does, I, I, it can't matter order. Cause I don't no, we can't order. do order. We're just going to show y'all some of the stuff we've done real quick. Oh, while you're doing that, let me show that fussy cutting tip that I promised I would show. Yeah, show that Okay, so tip. let me find something stamped or something oh, nice. I can stamp. Let's <laughs> see. That's funny. I dropped them and said all nuts when I was picking up the nut projects. Y'all, I don't have a... Um, here, well, here we go, here we go. Here we go, we'll use Sweet Angel, which is sitting here. Because it was going to be a project that we, oh, I can do this. This is already on a block. Here, we'll do this. We were going to do a project with that one, and we didn't, but I may still do that project because it was really cute. Okay. Let's say you're going to fussy cut this, which is a bad example, but let's say. This is the tip I gave the other day. When you're fussy cutting, number one, make these part of your hand. Don't hold them out here like this. This is, this is not going to be helpful to you, okay? Make these part of your hand. Put your thumb in there. Make it feel like part of your hand. 
okay? Then when you cut, don't go straight like this with your scissors. See how my blade is straight? Open it out like this. Just dial your hand open, okay? And when you do that, you're able to see what you're doing so much better. And that's the tip they were um, talking about is how turn the blade. A lot of times we think we have to keep that blade perfectly straight and it does a couple things. See how it bends my paper up? Holding that blade out lets me see what I'm doing and I can really get in there because I can see the edge. So that's the difference. Dial it open. Just turn it open. That will help you so much in your fussy cutting. This was first. We'll do this one first because I remember the Orange You Glad It's Christmas started with chocolate covered orange slices. Look at this. Isn't it cute? Do you remember this one? So this video is there for you to see how we made these treats and also how we made this little tag and the stamps that we used and everything is shown there. Then again, not in order, we showed how to make this super cute little squirrel treat. Um, he is so cute, you guys. And remember inside of him are some kisses, but you can put anything inside of, of him. It'd be cute, especially if you did like turtles or something with nuts and stuff like squirrels like. Wouldn't that be cute? Love this little squirrel. Shannon did this guy. Then Shannon also did this one for you guys. Did you do everything this year? Probably. This is so cute. <laughs> this is a 12 days till Christmas countdown. It's a treat a day till Christmas day. And this is a little snowman from a jar. And inside we just put some uh, 12 lifesavers so they could just take one out every day. So that was one project. Again, all of these videos, I think all of them, some of them, I, some of them had some errors and got taken down, but most of them were there. This is a gift card holder that we did. Has a little slot for the gift card in here, and there's the little deer. And we did this to show you how to use uh, a punch to turn these little light to make these little lights. Isn't that cute? This is actually made using the hydrangea punch. So if you didn't get to see it, it was this punch, the flower punch, made those little lights. Love this little guy. This one, this is kind of similar to today. This is the one that we did with the angel, and this one is just a tag or an ornament. We didn't make it open. But see how pretty that angel is? We love that one. I love that ornament or tag. We just did this one yesterday. This is the little, we took the stamp set and made the little music um, bag with the stamp set so you could put a treat inside of it. So cute. This one we did yesterday, same stamp set. And Shannon made a little Christmas tree with the little doubled up um, star. And then, oh, I love this one. Have a mice Christmas. Remember this where we took the little cheese wedge? This is neat to go back and see them all. Uh -huh. To see the little, and we made the little cheese wedge, in, wedge into the tree. Isn't that cute? I love that one. Oh, this one. Did we, we did a whole angel theme day, didn't we? We did. And this one is the little paper folded angel. It's not, it is paper folded here and then punched there. Our little angel tag to and from. Isn't that cute? And then, Tamsin's going to be like, link, link, link. You don't have to, I don't think. There might be a playlist. There it is. Orange You Glad playlist. She's made a whole playlist for you. This is the one we did for, um, Pancakes and pajamas. I finally got it right. Yes. This is the one we did where we gave you the little printable PDF so you could put this behind here. Sorry, that was me. Oh, that scared me. I thought it was something behind me. And so you could put this behind here and invite people to your pancakes and pajama party. So that was super cute. Oh, and this one had syrup. This is the one Joe put his finger in. Y'all remember he put his that finger in that one? one. Joe's syrup. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. This was Ugly Sweater Day. I loved this one. This little card where we made ugly sweaters. Don, we know our ugly sweater. Love this so much. I think it's so cute. This was our um, angels folded paper angel. Uh -huh. It's not a rosette. It's a folded paper angel, which was made on angel um, on the angel day. Then, oh, this little guy. Somebody just messaged me and told me they were making this um, for their neighbor who loves squirrels. The little squirrel that's decorating the tree. We did this one. I thought this was really cute. And we did Merry Christmas and a nutty new year. Isn't that cute? And then this little guy right here, we made our little mouse. This was mouse day. We don't have the candy we made that day because it had to go away. It was already, it was bad at this point. So, we but we have this little guy we made with the, um, yeah, it did have, it had, it, it had its moment. Um, but it had this little guy we made with the candy cane. So it had a little tail. And then today's, and I feel like that's not all, maybe we didn't save every single one. I thought we did. Then no, this is not today's. Today's is this one because that's the pre one. This is the one she did. Did you show them your pre? No, I didn't. This is pre-ground and pre-stars and pre, that's it, ground and stars. But there's the finished one there. And why do I feel like I'm missing something? May not be, but I feel like we are. We, we might be. gingerbread houses. The gingerbread houses are not in here. That's one we don't have in here. We don't have the pancakes we did at the house. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, we had the card. There were so many things, it was a lot of fun. Y'all and I did take my gingerbread house home, put it under a disposable cake tray, because that's all I had Cute. that it would fit under, and it's still living. That's cool. All right, we're going to do our last Would You Rather question. And if you would like to answer this question, here's what you do. After the video is ended, you go out of the video, you come back to the comments and leave your answer. Tamitha will pull our last Would You Rather winner tonight or in the morning, in the morning, for tomorrow's show. Okay, so here's your last question. Would you rather make presents for your family instead of buying them or make ornaments for your Christmas tree instead of buying them? That's a hard one, y'all. Because I want to do both. I want to make presents for my family and I want to make them for my tree, make ornaments mm. for my tree. I'm more likely to make ornaments for my tree. Yeah. Because I feel like there's less pressure here because I have a big family and also there would be a lot of pressure on that one. That's a lot of presents you'd have to make. That's a lot of presents. So, but come back after the video and put your answer into the comments so you can be entered to win that. Don't forget our 12 days of Christmas gifts. You can still enter that. You just go answer one question. Did y'all enjoy the question? I thought the question was funny. And some of you were very honest, very honest on the question. Um, answer that question that gets you entered tomorrow during our live show. We'll be announcing the 12 winners. So you want to be there for that so we so you can find out if you won. And what else am I forgetting? Do y'all have, to, is there questions? Have I forgotten something I was supposed to do? Um, please answer after the live. Yeah, wait till the live is ended and come back and answer so that way Tamitha can find all your entries. Thank you so much. Uh, we enjoyed these projects. Tomorrow we won't be doing a project. We'll be doing something else. Um, it'll. I'm going to tell you this. The plan is for it to be based around cookies. There's your hint. Based around cookies. And we think that'll be fun. Um, but I've enjoyed this. It's been fun. It challenged us. It's been fun. So what Shannon and I want to do is, you know, we have our Thursday afternoon shows, Craft O'Clock. We think we're going to do Craft O'Clock a lot like this. That's kind of the format you're going to start to see where we bring you one or two or three quick little projects um, and we can pre-theme them and all that and it'll be a lot of fun. Um, we really enjoyed the designing of these, of these not classes, these shows. Yeah. So look for our Craft O'Clocks to be a lot like this. So if you enjoyed this, Going forward in 2023, you're going to want to be here for Thursdays at 2 p.m. Is it 2 p.m.? It should be. That's where, I think it always was 2 p.m., wasn't it? That's why we did this at 2? Yeah, Thursdays at 2 p.m. I think that'll be super fun. Is that right? I don't feel like that's right. I feel like it's 1. Tampa, let me know what time it's supposed to be. Because I don't want to move it because I don't want to go change our schedule everywhere. <laughs> we do that enough. We have to change our schedule all the time. Thanks, too. Uh, you can go back and answer the would you rathers from Monday till now because those are the only ones that are going to be entered this time. Oh, y'all are so sweet. We enjoyed it. I'm just going to let this be my version of, um, okay, 2 p.m. Good deal. So we don't have to change it. So every Thursday at 2 p.m. we'll do this sort of format. I'm just, I like this for Vlogmas instead of Vlogmas. I never could get Vlogmas to go because it just doesn't work for me to take you around my boring life all day long because there's no content to show y'all. But this every day is fun and we can pre-plan it and be be more prepped. So it'll be a lot of fun. All right, guys, thank you so much for being here today. We're going to pray together before we go. I want to pray for everybody that's sick or waiting on weather. We've got all that weather coming. We're going to pray for everybody and then we're going to head out and we'll see you tomorrow for our final show of December. Our literal final show of December. That's another thing. That's what I was supposed to tell y'all. So just so you know, our online store is open next week, but our retail store is closed except by appointment. If you're coming through town and you want to come by, you can make an appointment and we will come meet you here, okay? Phones and email will work all week. Jasmine will still be answering the phone and answering emails all week long. So uh, you can catch her there. Um, actually, not Monday. I take that back. We're off Christmas Day and the day after. So, so Jasmine's off Christmas Day and the day after. So Tuesday through Friday, she'll be answering phones and doing emails. So you're not just out there without anybody. You'll be able to get in touch with us. But we won't do another video until Tuesday, January the 3rd. It is Tuesday. Yes. Tuesday, January the 3rd. We'll be back with our Tuesday night live show. All right, guys, let's have prayer. God, thank you so much for this day. Thank you for this month, for this season that we are celebrating. And thank you for everything you do for us, God. We just love each other in this community. And we know that this is only here because of the blessing that um, that it is from you. God, thank you for those that are watching today. And I just want to spend some time, God, praying about the weather. I know that 
everybody is waiting on some form of weather coming their way. And I just pray that those who um, need a shelter, need a place to be, I pray, God, that you'll just start right now getting that for them, getting that all lined up so they can all be safe. God, for those that are not feeling well, I pray that you'll give them a boost of energy. You'll give them the medicines they need, the doctor's appointments that they need. Whatever they need, God, I pray you'll just work that out and help them to feel better really soon. God, today for Vince's dad, I pray that you'll give him the news that he's looking for. Um, I pray that you'll bring them home safe from their travels. And anyone who's traveling for the for the season, I pray you'll keep them safe, God, and give them um, blessed time with their family. We thank you, God, for the season we're coming out of. We thank you that we are able to be together again and um, kind of kind of rekindle our uh, family relationships in a, in a wonderful way. And we thank you for that. God, most of all, we thank you for Jesus and the wonderful gift that he is. We can never thank you enough for Jesus. Um, that baby that was born to save the world, God, I, I can never even have the words to tell you what that means to me and to everybody watching today. So God, we thank you for everything that we've said today in Jesus name. Amen. Thank you guys so much for being here. I have enjoyed this. We will see y'all tomorrow um, for our last day together. It makes me kind of sad. It really does. It, it feels like it, it's been fun, hasn't it? So it makes me kind of sad. So quickly. Our year this year went by so fast. So fast. But we'll see you tomorrow, 2 o'clock from our house. Until then,